On November 22, 1692, Justice Samuel Sewell, who had recently been one of the justices who adjudicated the Salem witch trials, entered into the pages of his diary some of the ambivalent feelings he had about the proceedings. I prayed that God would pardon all my sinful wanderings, he wrote, and that he would save New England from enemies and witchcrafts and vindicate the late judges. It was his first expression of a guilt that would eventually compel him to an act of contrition in front of his congregation, the only of the justices involved in the witch trials to show any remorse over the 20 deaths that came as a result of those proceedings.